Robots aren't just coming, they're here. And things are getting weird. Fast. One prototype in a demo lab recently glitched out and went full rage mode, swinging at engineers like it mistook the event for a Terminator casting call. That wild clip lit up social media in seconds. But honestly, that's just the opening scene of what feels like a sci-fi film turning real. Meanwhile, over in China, a car company is now staffing showrooms with life-sized, Barbie blonde humanoids in sunglasses and ponytails to pitch vehicles. Not on screen. In person. In Germany, a robotics firm is releasing an eight-hour shift humanoid worker that costs less than your average Tesla. And yes, it's already out in the wild. And in California, Berkeley just dropped the mic with a $5,000 DIY humanoid you can literally 3D print in your garage. Creators are hacking it, upgrading it, and tweaking it to walk smoother and outlive its blueprint. But wait, Hyundai is swinging for the fences. They've moved Boston Dynamics' famous Atlas robot from viral parkour star to literal factory worker. These two-legged machines are being brought into a Georgia facility to help crank out 300,000 electric cars a year. We're watching the Industrial Revolution 2.0 in real time, and it's powered by servos, sensors, and machine learning. So what triggered the freakout video that had Reddit crying Skynet is real? It came from what looked like factory security footage somewhere in China. A humanoid robot, still half-assembled and dangling from a crane like a marionette, was being tested for joint range. Pretty standard stuff, until suddenly, all hell broke loose. Every joint spiked. Arms flailed. Legs kicked. It jerked the crane sideways and slid across the concrete floor, knocking over computers, spilling screws like confetti, and sending two engineers scrambling for cover. It lasted less than half a minute, but racked up six figures in views within hours and filled the comments with dark jokes and Sarah Connor memes. But this wasn't just a glitch. It showed how fragile the line is between controlled automation and mechanical chaos when torque and safety protocols misalign. And the timing couldn't be more telling. China's rolling out next-gen humanoids like parade floats. Pudu Robotics has a new android that walks at nearly 5 miles an hour, climbs stairs, and takes hits like a linebacker. Clone Robotics recently showed off a muscular android flexing synthetic tendons and teased that it'll soon be chatting, cooking, and cleaning like your future roommate. Some people are hyped. Others say the vibe is straight-up dystopian. That viral tantrum gave critics fuel. It's proof that under all that shiny design is a bundle of motors that can, under pressure, go completely rogue. On the flip side, one Chinese automaker is betting that charm will sell. Cherry Automotive just revealed its newest salesperson, a stylish humanoid named Murin, built in partnership with AIMOA. Debuting at the Shanghai Auto Show, this robot now stands, seriously, in real dealerships. It hands out water bottles with its carbon fiber fingers and politely answers questions about vehicle trim packages using a soft, synthetic voice. The ponytail and sunglasses? Not just for fashion. They hide a full 360-degree camera array. Each fingertip is touch-sensitive. And if you tap a brochure, it responds. The show clip of Murin doing a trunk dance on launch day racked up a comment thread longer than most robot manuals. One commenter asked if the dress code now applies to androids with platinum blonde hair. Another called it uncanny and asked if we're selling cars or prepping for a Westworld sequel. Back in Europe, a German company called Agus is ditching the glitz and going full practicality. They built a humanoid called Iggy Rob that costs under $55,000 less than half the rumored price of Tesla's Optimus, and cheaper than Agility's Digit. It doesn't walk. Instead, it mounts onto a rolling base that carries serious weight and slots right into factory workflows. This isn't a research toy. It's designed for real-world utility. Igus even lets companies trial the robot before buying, to see if it holds up in the kitchen or at the front desk. If it works, pay the invoice and keep it. Under the hood, Iggy is the result of years of engineering layered together, award-winning robotic arms, low-friction joints, and software that's compatible with existing factory dashboards. This thing isn't about vibes. It's about replacing humans with cold, efficient precision in workspaces that don't blink. Meanwhile, you see Berkeley is going gorilla. They just open-sourced an entire humanoid project called Berkeley Humanoid Light. You can print the body at home, download the firmware for free, and build a walking, gesturing robot that learns from reinforcement-trained software.
It's like if Raspberry Pi and Boston Dynamics had a baby. At just over $4,000 in parts, less if you buy from Shenzhen, it's insanely affordable. Early testers have already modified it to walk better, hold poses, and even write its initials with a marker. But yes, people are also warning that 3D printing gear teeth in PLA might not be a long-term solution. Still, the whole point is to encourage open innovation. No corporate bottlenecks. Just DIY robotics, powered by the internet. And then, above it all, is Hyundai. After acquiring Boston Dynamics, they've moved beyond showing off cool videos. Atlas, the parkour robot you've probably seen flipping off boxes, is now being slotted into Hyundai's billion-dollar production facility in Georgia. That factory is the crown jewel of a $21 billion U.S. investment plan. They've already got four-legged spot bots doing inspections. Now Atlas is being trained to help assemble electric vehicles at scale. Not just a tech demo, actual labor. So here we are, watching humanoids go from viral clips and show floor gimmicks to literal co-workers and customer service reps. They're charming, they're scary, and they're real. And the next time you walk into a dealership, a factory, or maybe even your office, don't be surprised if the one greeting you isn't human. We're stepping into a world that's changing faster than we can fully grasp. The question isn't if robots are coming. The question is, are we even ready for what they're about to become?